everybody. Uh, my name is Trevor, creative pastor here at church, and this is Pastor Daniel Lucas, and we love him. And we're in a brand new series called Fresh Faith. We kicked off last Sunday to begin the year for 2019. We believe it's going to be an amazing year in the life of our church, and we want to do something fun this series. So we're going to do a little bit of a podcast type interview with Pastor Daniel called Five Minutes of Faith. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the clock and uh, we're going to recap a little bit of the sermon, ask him some questions and see what we can get into. So let's go. I don't we know if we can do this, man. We I don't know this. if we can do it in five minutes. You we're, can do it. We are both preachers. We know Come nothing on. happens in five minutes. We're only let's try. eight seconds in, so we're good. Let's do this. We can make it. Let's do it. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Sunday, about your sermon. You talked a lot about how unbelief and, com- and belief can coexist. Can they coexist? You know, what does that look like? And uh, we had an amazing story from Scripture that you hit on um, about a father and his son. So uh, hit into that a little bit for us. Yeah, you know, we've all been there, right? We've all we've all been there. It's maybe in 2019 you'll be there. There's a place in your life where you're like, man, I, I believe that God can do this, but I just don't know if he can. Like, I believe God may be able to fix my marriage, but man, I still doubt. Or I believe that, you know, God can bring my wayward kid home, but man... I haven't heard from them in months. Or I believe that God can break this addiction and I have one step forward and the next thing I know I doubt, I don't think God can do this. Mm-hmm. So as we kicked the new year off, we thought, hey, Fresh Faith, which by the way, that was Trevor's uh, title for it that. Rhymes, it was his you know, idea. He He's like, hey, it. Fresh, kick the new year off. Faith, we're Christians, let's have faith, right? <laughs> so Fresh Faith, kick the new year off. And we start off talking about, you now what happens when faith and doubt collides? We've all been there. What happens when you believe, but then you have unbelief? And a lot of times people think that, and I don't have enough faith. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, if I just had more faith. So we looked at Mark chapter nine. There's a story about a guy who has a son who's ill and sick. In fact, the Bible says he was like demon possessed. And he brings his son to Jesus and says, if you can heal him, do it. And then he says this statement is fascinating. He says, I believe, but help my unbelief. Mm-hmm. And I believe a lot of people live right there. I believe but man, I still don't feel like it or I doubt or I, I don't know if God can come through. And the amazing thing with that, what's amazing about it, Jesus performs the miracle. Mm-hmm. In that same breath, faith and doubt coexisted in the same breath. Belief and unbelief in the same breath mm-hmm. and Jesus still performed the miracle. Now, what I love about that is that it gives someone like me hope. Yeah. Someone like me hope. He says, man, I believe God can do this, but man, I don't know. Because there's times, man, like I said, sometimes mm-hmm. I feel holy. Man, God's up doing great things, but most of the time I feel human. Yeah. And the great thing about it is God sees our humanity. Mm-hmm. And what I talked about on Sunday was it's not my faith in my faith. It's my faith in the object of my faith, which is Jesus. Because a lot of times people struggle. I just don't have enough faith. I don't have mm-hmm. enough faith God can heal me. I don't have enough faith that God can fix my marriage. I don't have mm-hmm. enough faith that God can put food on the table. And what they do, they put their faith in their faith mm-hmm. instead of putting their faith in the object of their faith, yeah. which is Jesus. Yeah, I think that, that stuck out to me. I love the line on like the, you know, holy, but then also human and battling that. Because I think, I know for a lot of us, like where I've grown up in church, maybe some of you guys can relate. Like we feel bad that we don't have enough faith. You know, it's like it's like you're not allowed to have those moments where you're unsure, but you want to be sure, but you don't really know what to do with it. And it makes you just feel weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, you know, Hebrews 11 says, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, Mm -hmm. but the conviction or the evidence of things that you haven't seen. And a lot of time we think we have to be certain. Mm -hmm. There's certainty there. And the reality is the Lord's not looking for certainty. He's looking for genuineness. Yeah. And he saw the dad's heart who was genuine. He says, I really do believe, Mm -hmm. but help my unbelief. And what's fascinating about that is that word help is means assist. And so what the man said is Jesus assist me, Mm -hmm. help me get my faith to where it needs to be. And he said, that's all I need. Yeah. That's all I need you to depend upon me. Yeah, yeah. And when he did, he performed the miracle, man, which is fascinating. I know you went into a little bit, you said a line about how prayer is a, like a dependence upon God. Mm-hmm. I think that, I remember you said that actually a few years back too. Um, and that's always stuck with me, like kind of helping me understand prayer, maybe walk through that. Uh, maybe just speak into a little bit how that can impact people's lives. Going into 2019, Um, How can prayer kind of help position them, especially if they are wrestling through unbelief or something like that? You even mentioned the end of the story there where the disciples are kind of alone with Jesus. Um, You kind of hit on that a bit. So explain that a little more. Well, so in that story, Mark 9, the father brings his boy to the disciples thinking they could heal him. Mm -hmm. And then the Bible says the disciples couldn't do it. Yeah. And my question is, why couldn't they do it? Mm -hmm. I mean, they've been given the power. They have the power, not their power. But, you know, in the name of Jesus, they can do this. And what's fascinating is when Jesus said this one can only come out by prayer, 
focuses on him, what I believe is that they try to do it in their own strength. Mm. And he, what he means by prayer, prayer is a dependency upon God, which means this, when I don't pray, mm -hmm. what I am saying is, God, I don't need you. Yeah. So when I don't pray about my marriage, what mm -hmm. I think is I got my marriage. If mm -hmm. I don't pray about my business, I think, well, I got, I could control my business. And if I don't pray through my finances, then I don't, I got my finances mm -hmm. situation. So really prayer is just as communicating, talking with God, but the posture of prayer is like, God, I can't do this without you. Yeah. And the way I see it in the text is the disciples try to do it when Jesus is on the Mount of Transfiguration mm -hmm. up there by himself. Thing. We don't need Jesus. We got this. Mm -hmm. So that's why privately, which is the reason I think privately because it was embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they couldn't do it. And they said, why couldn't we do this? He says, because you did not depend hmm. on me. And so as you go through 2019, what I ended that message with is how do, how do I show God or how do I let him know? Like I depend on mm -hmm. him. Like when belief and unbelief exist in, at the same time. And what I said was, is how I'm found in Hebrews 12 too. We fix our eyes on the author and mm -hmm. the perfecter of our faith, which means the beginning who initiated. Yeah. The only reason why you even have faith, and everybody on the planet has faith. Everyone has a measure of faith. We have faith, but he's also the perfecter, which means he finished it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he finished it. So if we will fix our eyes on him mm -hmm. then and run towards him, belief and unbelief can coexist but it will bring us to our knees to depend upon. I have to have Jesus come through in whatever 2019 holds for you. All right, that's it. That's our five minutes. Five I minutes, think check, we're barely check, over. Let's check. see where we're at, let's see where we're at. Good luck. Oh, oh 609. six minutes. Six, oh, it was nine. worth the extra minute. It was so worth, so the, extra worth the extra minute. So all right, this is Five Minutes of Faith with Pastor Daniel all throughout our Fresh Faith series. So we're gonna have this up. Um, it's gonna be every week. So make sure you jump back on next week as well. It'll be up. We're gonna have them up on Wednesdays. We can't wait to continue on in this series talking about faith, what it means to be uh, filled up and live a life of faith for Christ. We'll see you guys next week and uh, have a great day. Have a great week. See ya.